want to do today? I want to go down to the top mark. We can see if our memory holds up. Down through all the layers of schist, past all the timbers, struts, ladders, and shafts, past the bats, and the bugs, and the mold, and the water, and the roots, all the way down to the pure white cavern. That's where we are. way to illuminate the walls properly. By the light of day, everything would be as blinding as a newborn star. So the darkness provides a much needed obsidian watercolor wash. as balanced as can be. We lose track of time. Is any of this ringing any bells? there. The walls feel like candle wax. And the powdered ground muffles our footsteps. And it's not, it's not really like a maze because we know exactly where we're going. Right? We're going to the pit. You stand at the bottom in the dark, and you scrape the sides with your buckets <laughs> like this. We've wanted to do this for so long. Are you changing your mind? I'm not changing my mind. Boogeyman. Scary. Can you hear his footfalls in the alley? Or are those our footsteps? Echoing off the brick 
and the weird restaurant ventilation machines. That's odd. He's usually out this time of night. Do you know he works down in the boonies at a meat factory? Nets ham in a big old fridge. He's really the only ham netter left. Most other places use a machine. It's almost impossible because he has razor blades instead of fingernails. And the wires of the nets cut up his long, spindly hands. He's lost all his webbing. Nobody'd be able to read his palm. He hates it there, but the boss won't let him quit. Let's go home. We'll lock the doors, have hot chocolate, and he'll be outside with nowhere to go, cold, Wet, alone, and plagued by his misery. The poor guy. In the morning, even if we did go out looking for him, his corpse would be frozen to the ground out behind the storefronts. He'd wear a rictus grin, his candy corn teeth out on full display. Completely unintentional, of course. I don't think the guy ever smiled. Listen. Although we've been nice to him in the past, I think it's best if we let him wander. It's best if we let him be. I saw you through the blinds. We've been together how long now? Long enough for me to know your spirit, to have seen it fly from star to star through the night sky as you slept. Long enough for me to know what warmth is? True warmth. A stone that was left by the fire in ancient times, which has never ceased in all these centuries. The most heat conductive substance known to man. Soft as it is when you look at me.
saw you through the blinds. You were in the garden. And when the blinds obscured you, when my eyes finally opened, finally could see, I saw you for the first time. I've known you. When you braid your hair, it goes past your belt, deceptive and modest. But now, it seemed as though the garden had become its natural habitat, and it was out in full force. Unknowingly, unapologetically, embodying all of the beauty I've ever seen. Sunning on your shoulders like some sacred, ornate, matutinal brown lizard. Everything just came full circle. What an overload of information! Did you smile at me? How long have we been alive? How long has it been?